Hi everyone, I am Cassandra Velotto Bardin or Cassandra Balba and I'm here to do my last show on earth. Thank you Danny for inviting me to be part of this. Um, it's great to be part of this musicians movement in the UK. Um, I'm as you can see a recorder player so I was a little bit, I don't know, um, I didn't really know how to do this because usually I play with other people and when I play I can hear all the other voices going on around so I wasn't too sure about this but in the end I thought what the hell let's give it a go. So um, I'm going to play three different tunes um, on two different recorders this one and that one and first of all um, I'm going to play an English tune it's called Flat World it's by Andy Cutting it's one of my favourite tunes. I love dancing the waltz, it makes you feel like you're flying if any dance does. And um, I also live in Lincolnshire at the moment, um, which is very flat, so it kind of brings both of them together. Even if I don't think it was written for Lincolnshire, I think it was written for somewhere in France. Um, but that's okay, um, I'll just go with that. Um, so here's Flat World for you, one of the classics, but one of my favourites. Um, so that was Flat World by Andy Cutting, and now we're going to go to, uh, well we're going to stick to the UK with a fantastic trio called Horizonto, which I'm sure you all know as well, which is one of our big classics, and um, we're also going to go to uh, Galicia, uh, which is where I kind of started all my folk music adventure in my teens. And what I'm going to play for you from over there is the Muñera de Monte San Bayo, which is a fantastic tune, um, one of the best really. Um, and what more to say, I'm going to play this on a um, treble recorder, which is actually in 415, which means it's a semitone below what a normal um, instrument would be, because it's my baroque instrument. But I thought it would sound great on this instrument, so here goes.
15. So I've spent quite a lot of time in Sweden in the last 10 years, uh, especially with my band, Valdis Band, which if it was the last show on earth, I think I might want to spend it with them um, because we've just been having such an amazing time. But this is a tune that was taught to me by my friend Anna Gustafsson, who is a hurdy-gurdy, uh, hurdy-gurdy, nickel harper player, beautiful instrument. And um, she told me the story once about this nickel harper player who was in the forest and saw this beautiful woman heading down towards the river. So he just was mesmerized and just followed her and he saw the woman get in the, mirror, uh, in the river and then walk down and then at some point walk out and go into the forest. And as soon as she went into the forest, she turned around and completely disappeared. And when that happened, he realized that he was neck deep into the water and couldn't, uh, well, had nearly drowned basically. And what he realized is he just survived the clutches of a river nymph. So what happened is that he went home and he wrote this tune. Thank you very much for tuning in to my last show on earth and thank you Danny for inviting me to be part of this.